When you think of the Upper Peninsula, places like Mackinac Island probably come to mind. You think fudge, bike riding, horseback, and a hint of nostalgia. What you may not think of is the UP being a safe haven for African Americans during slavery. Museum educator Douglas McRae says this was the case in the late 1800s. The Upper Peninsula happened to be a safe location for many, many of the people that escaped from slavery because as it turned out, a lot of the bounty hunters would not travel that far north to try to capture someone and bring them back. McCray says unwelcoming terrain and having to cross the river kept many bounty hunters from traveling that far north. McCray says William Washington Gaines, the offspring of a Virginia shipbuilder and an enslaved woman, traveled to Keweenaw County first for work in the copper mines. Gaines and his wife moved to Marquette, where they lived as freed slaves and had one son. After his, after his son died, the, the wife and the children, and this would be William, William Gaines' grandchildren, they left, left the market and came back to the, to, to the lower peninsula of Michigan. McCray has been unable to locate family members of Gaines and says William Gaines Sr. is buried in Marquette at Park Cemetery. In Alpena, Stephanie Manici, WBKB News.